that, that, that this is a rule. Neither the kingdom of God, God's great kingdom, nor the kingdom of darkness can simply do what it wants on the earth outside of agreement from a son of God on the earth or a son of Adam on the earth. In other words, for the kingdom of darkness to manifest on the earth, a son of Adam or a daughter of Adam must agree with that darkness. And only then is there license for that kingdom to manifest. So the only way that wickedness, demonic wickedness, oppression can land in a, in a nation, in a region, in a business, in a family is that someone, a human being must agree with it must come into agreement with it, either through action, through, through volition, like it, it has to be an agreement. Someone had to say yes. And that is, listen to this, that is the exact same rules for the kingdom of God. So when people, you know, when people go, oh, you know, even in the church, they're like, oh, why isn't the kingdom of God manifesting in this place or in this region? Now, listen, here's the grow up moment it's not God's fault and it's not God's lack of willingness or desire or hope. The Bible says God wills that none would perish.